Rockstar have released the bottom dollar bounties DLC trailer. If you guys want to check it out, I'll be providing a link to the full trailer in the description below. So if you want to know how to start a new bounty hunting business and also want to know the bounty hunting business location, at least one of the business properties, this is the exact location here as shown on the trailer. As you can see, we have the iconic bridge at the background and this will be the property of our bounty hunting business. At the moment, it says the Luke Depository and Rockstar's gonna update it to the bottom dollar signage once the update is released. Also at the opposite side of our building will be the LSPD Los Santos Police Station. Inside of the trailer, we can see the interior of this business, which I'm gonna showcase here in this video. We have a small office with Mod Eccles overseeing the entire business, some desks and also the prison cell at the back there where we're gonna capture our bounty targets and put them in the cell right there. Also, here's another closer look in the trailer of Mont Eccles. And at the beginning of the trailer, we're gonna be working with her daughter, which is Janet Eccles, as you can see right here. I believe she's gonna be assisting us in most of our missions, probably on phone call, like any other missions in GTA Online. Also, this is probably the highlight of the trailer. We have the Microsoft Excel version from Rockstar, There'll be no fancy computer application, Mod Eccles is just gonna use a classic spreadsheet software as you can see here. We have the bounty target ID, the reference number, the priority of the target, which probably could lead to higher payout, the payment status, and also the progress, whether we've completed it or not. More of this will be revealed when the DLC is released, so what kind of job that we're expected to do in this DLC. There's a footage here in the trailer where we're in the police car. I'm not sure whether this is the bounty hunting job or it's one of the Vincent Effenberger dispatch work because we actually have our own vehicle, which is this van here. In this clip, we're kind of like investigating the crime scene. There's a dead prison guard at the top right of your screen and then there's a cloth and also maybe evidence. And there's a key as well on the ground there that we are investigating. Here's a closer look at our bounty hunting van. If you're playing with a friend, your friend can actually latch on to the side of the vehicle and shoot. That is really awesome. And once you capture the bounty target, as you can see here, I think this is either our upgraded bounty hunting office Probably a bigger location which we can upgrade to look as nice as this with brick walls and nice lightings. And once you capture the bounty target, you're gonna toss them inside of the prison cell as shown in the trailer right here. And as you can see at the background, we have staff as well in our bounty hunting business. That is really awesome. I believe we can upgrade our staff just like any other business and maybe upgrade the security so the bounty targets will be less likely to escape from the cell. That would be really cool as well. Also, we have like this sheriff badge that Rockstar published in Rockstar Newswire. It says bottom dollar bail enforcement with a dollar sign. And I believe this is one of the chain or badge that we can wear or one of the clothing item in GTA Online. And finally, we have the bottom dollar bounties logo and also the release date, June 25. I'm sure you guys are very excited for this. So stay tuned for more of bottom dollar bounties DLC content. Be sure to hit that subscribe. This is Joe and I'll see you next time.